Hello and welcome to my channel. I'll be going over potential foam in this tutorial. So potential foam solves the potential flow, which describes the velocity field as a gradient of a scalar function, so the velocity potential. The input, you need your u, which is your velocity. You need your small p, which is kinematic pressure, which is optional. And your other optional is velocity potential, which is p. Output. Your u gets overwritten. Uh, your p also gets over overwrites p if there's a write p flag. p is written, which overwrites your initial p if you have one with the right p. So let's go through the. Case folder. So in U, you've got uh, in zero, you've got your U original and your P original. And in your all run, what runs block mesh, so it gets the dict from your firm tutorials, research, block mesh, but daily. And it runs potential foam and it writes P and writes P, and then it writes in first first best post process function and runs stream function. So let's quickly run it. Okay, it's done. Reload these files. There's the block mesh. Remember to skip uh, the uncheck skip zero time. Else you're gonna have um, you're not gonna see any data. If you say um, skip zero, then there's no data. Deflag it, then there's your U. So there's your uh, surface at U, which is ten. And obviously the rest is zero. P is also zero everywhere. Writes a flux. So there you can see it's a gradient from 10 to 0. That starts at uh, 1.8 and we'll go down to 0 on this side. So it's a gradient from your 10 to your 0. So change your flux, change in velocity from here to there. It has a stream function. So this is kind of like how this stream might move. High, low at the bottom. So if it's daily, it's got that high velocity here with turbulence at the bottom. Uh, in the stream function, what's in here? So for number 10, Stream function needs the loop field function objects uh, library. There's the P field, and then it writes the time. So that's that. Um, yeah, so there's two examples in the folder that's daily and uh, cylindrical. Cylindrical's got an extra. Code in the control dict, which we'll go through just now, which uh, makes this uh, UA it's daily. So the extra code writes this uh, stream fun, this um, UA, which is the flow lines of the velocity. So it's just there. So it goes from Four to zero on this side. P and U A, which it writes and the surface. You can do the surface LRC. It's a U A. So you have the surface LRC. A U, it does nothing, you've got to choose your vector. 
okay, and then I'll write the surface LIC will work. In the system, the control deck has an extra code that they write in that you can go through. They use to get you, use the, the remember correctly the radius of the circle to write to A to get the vector field. UA that they write, vector field in there, give the LIC. Then just go through the schemes. So in the gradient, In your gradient schemes, default number 10, uh, your div schemes, div B and U, it's mandatory, and then your div div B and U, it's also mandatory. Two mandatory fields that you need if you solve potential foam and under solutions you need a fee and a p for solvers because we are solving for fee and under potential foam is in orthogonal correction factor so if you want to run potential foam for the same in maybe a simple foam fold and you need to have your potential foam here you need a fee solver in there That's it. I hope you learned something and uh, check in later for the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye bye.